Hi guys and a very, very warm welcome on to this video series on Kazrog K-Clip 3. Now this is an absolutely killer tool for getting your tracks really, really loud in a transparent way. If you've never used clipping before, it's an essential part of the modern producer's toolkit, especially if you work in genres that need to be competitively loud. It's a fantastic way of adding grit and saturation and extra punch to percussive sounds. And it can operate in two main ways, as a saturator stroke soft clipper and as a straight up hard clipper. And we're gonna have a look at different ways we can set this plugin up to work in both those two modes. Now this is the plugin I use on every single one of my tracks and I have done for quite a long time, ever since I think K-Clip version two. And version three really built on version two with lots of extra features, the most important being the multi-band functionality, which we're gonna have a look at later on. Okay, so in this first video, we're just gonna have a basic outline of where everything is and what it's called. And then we're gonna dive into each parameter one by one so we know exactly what each parameter is responsible for. And then later on in the video series, we're gonna have a look at using this plugin in action on some different elements to try and achieve some different results. Now I've just got a track I'm currently working on for my own Get To Know project. And I think this will be quite a good track to work on because I've bounced the elements out and it's really dynamic. So it's got a lot of space to add in some clipping and some saturation. And later on in the video series, we'll use some other example sounds as well. So I'll give you a little blast. So it's just a short four bar loop section. Okay, so let's dive in and have a look at the interface to start with. Okay, so starting at the top here, we have the version number here, so we can check we're on the latest version. Then we have the preset browser here, so you can choose from some presets. I have to say, I don't think I've ever used the presets from here because these are set up to work kind of in a bespoke way, depending on what it is I'm trying to achieve. We have a plus and minus button here that allows you to just to move through the presets like so. Then we have an AB compare here, so we can set it up to work in two different ways and then compare the two. We'll look at that later. We can save presets from here. We have a settings menu here. These are very, very important. We'll talk about that later. We have an internal bypass here. So if you find that it's introducing a little bit of latency within your DAW, then you can actually internally bypass it and you won't have that kind of jump in time you get with latency inducing plugins. We then have a loudness meter here, so we can meter exactly where we're hitting in terms of loudness. We've got a loudness target option here as well. We've got a really important readout here telling us how many decibels we're clipping. We have an integrated and a momentary loudness meter here as well. And as this is a plugin which can have a massive role in you getting your tracks really nice and loud, this is important. We have a visualizer in the middle here. which gives you a readout of the waveform, which is obviously super useful as well. Now from here, we can zoom as well. So we can essentially speed up and slow down that waveform display. Now we have an input gain and output gain. We have a link control here, and we have the ability to soften depending on what the mode is we're using. Our different clipping modes here, both soft and hard clipping. We can move between these in the same way as we did the presets up here. And then moving down to the bottom here, we have a threshold control, a mid-side control. We can choose whether we want to work on a single band or a multi-band basis here as well. We'll come back to that in a second. And here we have a mix control as well. So we can go 100% wet or we can do a dry wet. And what we also have, which is really cool, is a delta control here, which allows us to audition what we're actually adding to the sound. Because whenever you hard clip something, there's always going to be these little kind of bursts of noise and distortion that are added. So we can actually audition what we're adding and when, which is really useful as well. And then finally, we have a last output ceiling because this is actually kind of a dual clipper in some ways. So we have the initial clipping and that can be oversampled. If we come up into the settings up here, we can actually oversample that. We can talk more about that later. But if we do oversample, the initial clipping phase that can actually create new peaks that go over the ceiling. So we have a final ceiling here, which we can set and we can switch that on and off as well from here. And that's really important. We're going to come back to that. So that's the basic interface of the plugin. So we kind of know from the start what all the dials are called and on a very, very, very basic level what they're for. Okay, so to recap in this video, we've introduced the plugin. I told you it's a soft clipper stroke hard clipper, depending on how you set it up. On the top here, we have the presets. We can go through left and right. 
A-B comparison, saving presets, settings here, and an internal bypass if you have any kind of lag when you bypass within your DAW. Loudness meter, and also we have integrated a momentary loudness down here as well. The number of decibels we're clipping here can be monitored in here, which is really, really important. We have a loudness target option here too. And then we have a visualizer here, a zoom display, input control, output control, linking. We can soften the clipping as well if we want to make it into a soft clip setup. And we have our different algorithms for clipping here, which we can move through with the plus and minus buttons. We have a threshold. We have mid-side control. We can choose whether we want to have one band or we can go to four bands. And we have a mix control here, dry, wet, delta control, so we can audition what we're adding to the signal essentially, and then a final clipping ceiling. And I talked about the fact that is to help you catch any extra peaks that have been created through oversampling. Now, just quickly, when we're in the four band mode, we have the same settings as we have for the single band mode, but you notice that we can change the algorithm on a band by band basis. And we also have the ability to solo and bypass bands as well. But we're going to come back to multi-band mode a little bit later on in the video series. We're going to stick with single band to start with. Okay, so now we've covered the interface at a very basic level. In the next video, we're going to start looking at the input output and the soft and hard clipping algorithms. So we can dive in a little bit more into how this plugin actually works. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.